In some ways, it's like yesterday. Um, it was August 10th, 1999, and um, I was on vacation with my children, and I got a call from a friend of mine, and she said, turn on the news. Tragedy in Los Angeles. A gunman walked into a Jewish community center and opened fire, wounding five people, including three children. I was taken aback because these kids looked just like my kids. They were the same ages. Just sounded so similar. So I started calling my friends and I said, you know, this is gonna sound kind of crazy, but I think we should do a march on Washington. Mothers across the country are mobilizing to form the Million Mom March. Calling on lawmakers in Washington to stand up to the influence of the gun lobby. The group's target date for Congress to enact new legislation is exactly nine months from today. For the first 24 friends I called, not one of them said actually that it sounds kind of crazy. They just did like what your women friends do. Like, that's a great idea. What do you want me to do? We are sick and tired of watching children gun down in our homes, our streets, and our schools. I, along with thousands of other mothers nationwide, am joining forces to pass common sense legislation to protect our kids from guns. And sure enough, we were, became a, a little bit of a media sensation. After our first 25 moms, the next wave were coming in. I started hearing on the news about a million mom march against gun violence, and I knew I wanted to be a part of it. My daughter was held up at gunpoint. I saw that the difference between me and the mothers who had lost their children to guns was a microsecond. Our wonderful 21-year-old son, Matthew Black, uh, was shot and killed here in New York. I thought I was immune from gun violence. And of course, I learned differently. It galvanized me uh, to become involved. And it was uh, just a way for me to be involved without knowing much about policy or beyond my own emotion. They took on the issue in a way that I, I could have never have written a press release and had given it to them. They took it on with such passion. But I called all the uh, gun violence prevention organizations. I called Dan Gross. Most of them were just hanging up on me or not calling me back or having me talk to somebody who assisted. But Dan said, no, I'll meet with you. I, I come from this world of advertising when everything is so thought out and so strategic. Donna Dees, she came from total opposite place, which is just put it out there let people see their reflection in it, let people take it and run with it. Somewhere in the middle of that resulted in what became the Million Mom March. This was really the first time people had a public voice, that they could come together and be united in their grief, in their passion, in their inspiration, in their willingness to do something, to make change. There was no such thing as social media in 1999-2000. So we really were word of mouth. Dan Gross brought in his friend Roseanne Cash. I started collaring people before the march to say, you have to come to the march. And then Roseanne Cash picked up the phone and called her friend Emily Harris. Diane Feinstein, like what did Diane Feinstein hear about? Well, she heard it from Representative Carolyn McCarthy. We had Susan Sarandon, Reese Witherspoon. It was such a female thing. You call your friend, I'll call my friend. And that's what paid off that day. Well, they're saying that this could be the biggest gun control rally in history. Moms are coming into Washington from all across the country, gathering on the mall. Initially, my first permit set 10,000. A couple of days before the march, we started realizing we were going to have a lot more. You kind of felt it growing all day long. And then it just kept coming <laughs> to see people, you know, streaming into the mall over the course of the day and watch that crowd get further and further back from the stage. It was a city of people. But the fact is, there are 750,000 people here. Jim and I welcome you and thank you. You're a sight for sore eyes. It was profound, it was extraordinary. You had a million people and these women were fierce and resolute. We must either change the minds of these lawmakers or for God's sake, in November, let's change the lawmakers. One million was always going to be a metaphor. It, the alliteration, Million Mom March, it was just the alliteration. And I was kind of shocked and surprised when we actually almost made that mark. We probably did make it. We probably surpassed it.
I hope the whole Million Mom March movement and women that I've met around the country is really special because they're my inspiration. It's so important that we acknowledge this 15th anniversary to give proper tribute to Donna Dees and the amazing moms across the country. We knew that this wasn't going to be a one-day event. It's something that sparked a movement, and that movement today is stronger than it's ever been. An unwitting activist had been born on the day of the Million Mom March, and I thought, if I don't do something about it, it's my fault. The Ask campaign has been saving lives to this day as a result of these people. The Million Mom March was the launch point for the Ask campaign, Asking Saves Kids. The idea behind it is that good parenting is asking if there's a gun in the home where your kids will play. Mothers left that mall and started asking. That became part of our campaign for the next 15 years. Parents have to ask these questions and we have to demand it of our legislators. Gun violence is preventable and we need to use sound public policy in order to curb this. Every year I get a mom who has just run for some office and has been elected. From school board to county commissioner. We have the responsibility to keep being loud and to fight for sensible legislation that will prevent gun violence. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon. I want people to stay committed for the long haul because we're going to make better policy in the United States. Our best days are still ahead. More than two years after Newtown, and a lot of our moms who started the Million Mom March 15 years and nine months ago, they're ready to take it to the next level and to finish the job. We need to close those loopholes in the Brady Law.